Hi, my name is Paulina Osho. I am a surface pattern designer. Today I'll explain some main points on how I create floral motifs in my little sketchbooks. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Here I am going to share my drawing process, some tutorials, art supplies reviews and Q&As. So let's go! First of all, I cover the whole background with a red acrylic color using a Posca marker with a thick tip. Don't forget to shake the marker very well before use, after I let it dry for a minute. I use a thin artistro marker to outline the main stems of the twigs. Then I draw all the leaves in outlines. and additional tweaks. I try to fill the spread evenly and make some interwavings with the leaves. I like these complicated overlaps. I think uh, they make illustration deeper and more interesting to the eyes. Don't be afraid of messing up uh, the outlines, it's easy to fix them later. If there are some spaces left, I add more leaves. After all the outlines are ready, I begin to color them. It takes some time, so I try to relax and enjoy the process. While you're watching uh, how I color outlines, I'll tell you a little bit about markers and sketchbook that I like to use. I like to work in small sketchbooks because it allows me to finish an illustration in one go, and this really motivates me to start a new one next time. I usually draw my floral motifs with Posca markers in regular Moleskin sketchbooks. This time I use Lechtrum 1917 sketchbook with 80 GSM ivory paper and acrylic water base markers Posca and Artistro. I like both of these brands because these markers don't have any smell and can be easily overlaid with other color. The color palette is also very beautiful. By the way, you can use a coupon code OSHA to purchase purchase uh, artistro markers. It gives you 10% off. If you are interested, please find details in the description of this video. Actually, it's my first voiceover ever. I hope it's going well. I am open to all your feedback and ideas for my channel. As you can see, I am not a professional YouTuber, so I need your support with it. Okay, let's come to back to the drawing process. I like this vivid combination of red and blue. By the way, I share some info about color theory on my Instagram and also write notes about how I combine colors for my patrons. If you want, uh, please join our art community on Patreon, link in the description below. This coloring really takes time. This is the reason why I use a thick Posca markers for the background, other way I would color it for half an hour. <laughs> when all Outlines are filled with paint, I fix some overlapped parts to make the illustration neater. And uh, in the end, I usually um, add some details like strokes, stripes, dots. That's all! <laughs> Thank you for watching! If you have any question, please feel free to ask in the comments and subscribe to my channel to see more floral motifs. Thank you, bye!